hi guys welcome back to um another interesting video tutorial so in today's video i'm going to show us how to get our mom made um skirt okay a very beautiful mom made skirt from our basic body um from our basic skirt block basic skirt pattern this is just um a skirt pattern a pencil skirt pattern from here to here is the from waist to new okay i just extended the length to the length of the dress i'm making it's actually a gown but the down part will be a mermaid um mermaid skirt like so let's get started if you don't know how to draft your pencil skirt okay or my own method of drafting pencil skirt i have a detailed video on that i'll leave the link in the description box below to avoid unnecessarily making this video long so after um getting my um from waist to new okay so from this new part now to the um the hem of my skirt pattern okay i divided what i have here from um uh, at my new i have 7.5 okay so i divided my 7.5 into two and i ruled a straight line i hope we can see that you can see a straight line that that is here okay this is where i'm going to be slashing it so um there are different ways to draft a mermaid skirt but slash and spread will give you more fullness and it will make the fullness to um to be wavy okay i just like the outcome i use all i use all methods depends on my mood but this is my best method the slash and spread so um the spreading depends on um the availability of your of your fabric okay so i'm going to slash this open now and i'll stop um at my new point okay so guys after reaching the new point i'm going to slash in my um the center sorry the side seam from this new point i'm going to slash it in okay leaving small so that it will not fall off okay you can see that i left just a little bit and you can see that i did not touch my center front this line this um center front here i didn't touch it so this is the one we will be spreading so you will spread according to um according to the uh, quantity of fabric you have okay so i have just three yards for a dress and i'm going to manage it like let me place my fabric on the table so guys um what i have here is about 17 inches like i said i want to minimize my fabric i just have three yards okay so i'll bring my skirt pattern remember the mid um the front is supposed to be on fold okay so you place your pattern on your fabric like this and pin down make sure it's straight okay so now it's time to spread out like i said i'm going to manage this fabric okay so you spread you know this um spreading will help um the wavy effect to fall by the side so after getting this now you see the end of my um paper so i have to pin down to connect them together this method helps it to flow very well i 
keep saying that I've, I've used all the methods and I I love all so from here now I'm going to connect from here I'm going to connect back to this point So guys, just try to um, connect it in a way that they will be together, okay? So this is it. And we'll cut out. It's very simple. after cutting this now i will use it to cut my back and i will show us how to cut together um um tail or train or goddess with the fabric at the back so placing my fabric uh, the front on the back pattern as you can see the back is longer by um 7.5 inches okay so this is this will serve as my um tail or goddess or train whichever one you want to call it please make sure that this place is on a straight line if you look closely you will see my my chalk marks the blue chalk marks to make sure that i placed it on a straight line it's very very important so i'll arrange it now so for um for the tail the goddess you can make it the same length with the front pattern or you can just um make it to come down a little but the dress is already already long so i don't want it to have that extra tail going at the back i just want it to have the fullness of a tail so from my new line from my new line i'm going to i'm going to mark out okay so i'll add my zipper allowance my two inches zipper allowance okay okay so this is it so um from this end i'm going to connect to this part So let me use a longer ruler to get it more accurate. Okay. Okay, yes. So if you see now I went up a bit, okay, so that I can use my hand to slope it down. Just use your hand to, um, to make it the way you want it, okay? So from here now, we're going to connect straight to this point, okay? Remember the side seams must be equal. Okay, so so this is what we have now, and I'll connect and cut out.
guys look at our back pattern so i'll go now to transfer both the front and the back to our lace fabric okay so this is my lace fabric i'll go now transfer them to the lace fabric and i will start sewing them together so guys i'm done transferring the fabric to um the pattern to my lace fabric now i want to show us something if you want to maintain your salvage the salvage of the lace now this is a simple trick you can see this is this was how it is i know that we have to cut it out so instead of cutting it out completely i slashed it open trim out a little okay i trimmed out a little so after i will sew it back and it will match up okay and trim out whatever that is left so that's how to maintain a salvage and with a curvy lace okay or you can cut it out the salvage completely then later you join it neatly back okay so i'm going to start joining my lace to my um my lace to my fabric okay i'm drawing the skirt i will show you um what we've made on the mannequin so guys, this is my customer rocking her dress. You can see the effect of the slash and spread by the sides. You can see the back tail, the fullness. Okay, so I love this method so much. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.